Hello, my name is Nick McPhee, and I work at the University of Minnesota Morris, where I teach computer science. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to download the Dr. Racket programming environment designed for writing, editing, and running Racket programs, which we will use in Computer Science 1301. Uh, and I'll show a couple of simple examples. Um, and then in subsequent videos, I'll, we'll go over more complex examples. So first, we're going to go find Dr. Racket. And it turns out if you search for Dr. Racket, um, you get the Racket language as the very first hit. We're going to download Racket. The Racket website should auto-detect what kind of computer you're using. This does describe the sort of computer that I'm using at the moment. So I will say download. And they ask you to choose the nearest site to where you are. Um, here in Minnesota, probably this site in Illinois is our best bet. So we're downloading Dr. Racket. That's going to take a few seconds. And then when that's done, we'll open it up and install it. Now it's completely downloaded the application. I will need to open it up. And... Um, now I'm going to copy this folder into my Applications folder. This is all set up for on a Mac. It's going to look a little different on a Windows machine. We will actually have Racket installed in the Computer Science Lab. So you don't technically have to download Racket onto your own computer or even have your own computer. I suspect most people will end up installing Racket on their own computer, um, but it's not actually necessary at all. And now once I've downloaded it, I've opened it up, I've copied it to my applications folder. Um, if I open that, I find that there's a variety of folders and applications. And I'm going to actually start up Dr. Racket, which is the main thing that we care about. You can ignore pretty much the rest of this um, for the purposes of the course. When we start up Dr. Racket, we get this icon and a progress bar telling us that it's loading it up. It'll actually go faster after you've started it the first time. When you first download it, there's some setting up that it does internally. Um, and now we have the Dr. Racket window. I'm going to clean house. Dr. Racket windows have two main parts. The top part is what's known as the definitions area. And this is where we'll type in, edit, and work with our program definitions. And the bottom area is what's called the interactions area, and this is where we'll see the results. In Dr. Racket, uh, a program is a set of expressions. This is a property of the language Racket. And at the moment, in these early stages, a program is typically going to be a single expression or a small set of expressions. So let's write a simple program. This simple program is merely going to add two and two. So in Racket, that's open paren plus space two, space two, close paren. That is a simple program that adds two and two. Not very exciting, but we'll get to more interesting stuff later. Now, we, because we've made changes, the save button has become visible. This allows us to save the work that we've done. So I could say save, and I could say this is a simple example, .rkt. RKT is the standard extension for Racket files. It's useful for you to use that extension when running your own files. It'll make it easier for us when you turn things in. And now I can run this simple example by clicking the Run button. And indeed, down in the Interactions window, the answer 4 appeared. And I can make changes up here. I can say, well, I didn't really want to compute 2 plus 2. I wanted to compute 2 plus 3. And I can save again, I can run, and now we find that 2 plus 3 is 5. And I could say, well, I want to actually multiply those. So change the plus to a star, which is what Racket uses for multiplication. I can run without actually bothering to save. So I can say run, and oh, I get 6. And I can have multiple expressions. So I can say, well, I want to add 2 plus 3, and I want to multiply 2 plus 3, and now I'll get two answers, the product of two, oh, I said two plus five, didn't I? The product of two plus three and the sum of two plus five both show up here. And I can have arbitrary numbers of expressions here. 
when I press run, they will all be evaluated, and I'll see the answers here. Okay? That sorts out this video. Um, in the next video, we'll talk a little bit more about how Racket works and do some more interesting examples. Thanks a lot.